Hey everybody, I'm going to show you a demo of how to start your own Teams integration with Procore. So step one is you want to create a brand new team. So you see us here creating a team and in this case it's going to be uh, the Procore demo team and you'll see this new team show up here on the left side of your uh, Teams interface. This demo is really going to walk you through all the steps you need to do and show you exactly how it works. It's mostly for the Procore administrators and systems administrators. In this case, we created a channel in that team called Blue CL, and that is the exact name of our Procore project. You can see when I create that channel, it creates a files library. That files library, if you go to SharePoint, you can see you actually have a SharePoint library. In that library, we're going to connect it to Procore. Here's where you add the hinge point app. In this case, you see the administrator adding the hinge point app. This will sync your documents for this library back to Procore. This is the key step that gets everything integrated and connected. While Microsoft installs the app, here you go, you can actually manage your connection to Procore. You have to create a new connection. We can connect to any Procore company. And so one of the first steps is we need to get that Procore company ID. So uh, while we go through a few steps here, number one, we need to know what SharePoint site we are in. So we just filled that out. Then you need to know what Procore company you're working on. So now we're connecting SharePoint to the Procore company ID. Hingepoint has a secret key that Procore gives us um, that authenticates the APIs so they can connect. Um, so we, they know it's an authorized connection. However, you also need to be a systems administrator or a company administrator in Procore uh, so that you only have administrators connecting these things. So in this case, we're now logging into Procore and then Procore returns that long uh, refresh token if you know APIs, that's how secure this is. No one could ever guess these token names and uh, sneak in and talk to your data. So it's highly secure. But now we've got the handshake going between Procore and your SharePoint documents. Now we're going to connect a specific project. In this case, it's called Blue CL and it is a project. And we get grab the project ID there out of the URL. And now we've connected it. We can activate the sync and active, actually connect it, activate it, deactivate it, or force a sync um, between Procore and that SharePoint document library. So this is the module you get to make all the connections. You can see in SharePoint, it created that folder and you see all these files just synced over with the Procore ID. That's showing that the connection has started to sync and you can see it all syncing. Now what synced over are all the Procore documents. So there, in this case, there was already a Procore file uh, folder structure set up. And you saw as soon as we set up that activation that all the files synced back to uh, Microsoft SharePoint. And SharePoint is really um, underneath Microsoft Teams. So now I'm in that Blue CL team and I'm looking at all the exact same documents and folders. Now, if you want all your folders to go back and forth between all the files, we turn on webhooks. Here we're in the administration panel and you turn on the webhooks 
And this makes sure that the web services are listening to any changes on the Procore side. And then therefore, when anything changes on Procore, it tells our service and we mirror that same change back over to Teams. So you can see, we're just making sure that um, once we turned on the web hooks that we uh, activated the sync and then it'll just continue to run. In this case, you're gonna see we upload a file to Teams and then uh, you see it showing up there, the Steve Jobs image. And then back over on the Procore side, you will see the same image synchronize over in real time. You can also see that you can create a folder on the Procore side. You can attach and upload files on the Procore side. All the commands of create, read, update, and delete of folders and files are mirrored over between the two systems. So you can see there's these three new files in that folder. And if we refresh the Teams, you'll see the same exact files in the same exact folders. So you'll see there's a whole suite of integration services that we're using um, to keep the two systems in sync. And you can see that um, both all the files and folders continue to sync between both environments once they're connected. You can see with the metadata that they were just updated uh, momentarily, um, a few seconds ago it says, and you can see that the Procore uh, folder ID and the folder field and all the metadata comes across so that you can see that the Procore connector is indeed working with Teams.